Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing my version of the Masters Universe leg repair. Now I know there's a lot of people that use uh, screw eyes with the rubber o-rings. There are methods where people are using the new reproduction uh, leg bands. Truth is I never wanted to use any of those kind of systems because I don't want to risk cracking this plastic right here. So instead, I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. It's an idea I had in the middle of the night when I was sleeping and I was thinking about it. If you can repair Action Man, you can repair G.I. Joe and Mego figures with elastic. Why not a Masters Universe figure? All it is is one piece right here. So... What we're going to do is we're going to go through my system of how I've been repairing my Master Universe figures little by and uh, you'll be able to either copy this, revise it, use your own system. I'm going to show you the parts and the tools I've been I've been using. Now, this is my way of doing it. Everyone has their own way. Choose the one that's right for you. So, with that, the first supplies you're going to need are going to be this. Of course, you're going to need the Master Universe figures. This is my childhood Fisto. He has had 40 years or more that this rubber band's been in his legs. And it just broke with time, age, and storage, as they all do. So here is the first part. This is quarter-inch wide elastic, or if you want, it is also known as, let me get it here, four millimeter. This is four millimeter elastic or quarter inch wide as I bought it. The other part, screw eyes. And they say hooks on them, but they're actually screw eyes. This is uh, number 214s, 13 sixteenths of an inch. And they are, I got a couple, I'll need a couple out here anyway. They are at the top, their full diameter right here by millimeters is, if we can focus in on that, about seven millimeters right there. The inside is about three millimeters or so inside diameter, almost four, about four millimeters. Their length in millimeters is about 20 millimeters long. And they have a little more than a 16th of an inch for the thread, a little about two millimeters for the thread right there. So about two millimeters for this threading right here. So what I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna use is a flathead screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers, and I'm going to pull out this rubber that's in here. Now I'm gonna pause this because there are a lot of videos to show you, but basically you're gonna go in with a screwdriver, you're gonna dig this and use the needle nose pliers and pull it out. Now I use a lot of uh, jeweler's tools because they're smaller and easier to use on these figures. So I'm gonna pause this and when I come back, I'll have this rubber out of both legs and then we can continue. So, I'm gonna show real quick. I basically am just taking a screwdriver, digging it in there, and pulling out the pieces of elastic piece by piece. And then I'll go in with a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it out as well, little chunks, till it's all out. And they're totally clean inside of this hole right here. And I'll be right back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see in there, that is totally, get it right there, totally clean. That leg and that leg. There's no more rubber in it. In fact, this, this right here is the whole pile of rubber that came out of those legs. So... 
Move this, this, move that crap to the side. And now we can begin restringing. And of course, you got to make sure you know which one is the left, which one is the right leg by how they face in. You want to make uh, him stand like that. So what I'm going to do is take a pin vise right here that has a small sixteenth of an inch drill bit in it. It's a little bit smaller than the screw eyes are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right in the center here. I'm just going to drill a center hole in the center of these legs. And that's just going to be a little pilot to start through right here. Then I'm going to go in the center of this one. And I just want to start a little bit hole, a little hole right there. So that when I put this screw eye in, it's got a hole to begin screwing it in. Just a little pilot. Now I have a pair of um, pliers right here that are smooth jaw. These are jewelers. This way I can not, I can screw this in to here and not mar these and put scratches in the screw eye. And I just want to screw this into the leg. This is similar to how people have done it for years to repair Motu figures before these new leg bands. But I want to get my, I, I don't want to do anything that's going to, you know, crack the plastics or anything. The only tools I've been using on anything is on the legs. When I get to the body itself, that's the hard plastic. Only thing I'll be using is a pair of tweezers to get the, the uh, elastic through it. So there, and I have it lined up with the seam of the leg and I have it about oh just about a little about a quarter less than a quarter inch sticking up we're gonna go to the next one And we're going to screw it into the leg there. And that pilot hole helps you start it so you don't have to put too much force on the leg. And again, just until that is a little less than a quarter inch sticking up. The next step is we're going to take a piece of elastic. Now, usually I start with a little longer than I need because elastic's cheap. So I usually use about five inch long piece of elastic, cut it off. Now I'm gonna put it through one leg. It doesn't matter which one, so I'm gonna put it through this one here. It's the left leg. And you're gonna fold it, and you're gonna to try to thread it through in there. So you're gonna get in there. Once it gets in, that's where your tweezers come in. You can take the tweezers, pull it through, and you're gonna get it halfway through. You're gonna get it exactly half. So when you do it like that, it's just, it looks like that. So the next step is to take this here and we're gonna thread it through. You're gonna thread it through the back hole right here. It's very hard to see, but it's right there. Now we're gonna thread that. Get some of this stuff out of the way here. We're gonna thread that through that back hole back there. Not the front hole, not that big front hole. We're going into the back hole. So once we get in this back hole, it's very hard to see because it's brown plastic, but right there, 
once you get it in, you get like one or two, one piece through, you can get another piece through. You might have to do each one individually, it just depends on how, how it'll go. Let's see, I got one piece in. Let me try that again. Sorry, my hands are in front of the camera. But it just, it's very, very difficult to get this correct like this. So, but once you get it threaded, there we go. Once you get it threaded through, it should look like that. Now you're going to take the take one of these pieces. We'll take the lower one. You're going to spread it through the other leg, like so. Use your tweezers to grab it and pull it through. This is always a lot easier, but because I have the camera here, I'm having to look and work around the camera. There we go. So once that's through, you should be like this, where you have one piece there. Then you're gonna take the other piece that's on top and you're gonna make sure these legs are correctly aligned and you're gonna pull tight. You're gonna pull that through and then you're gonna pull this tight and you're gonna start knotting it. And once you start knotting it, then you're gonna tie another, you're gonna tie a double knot into it. Like so, make sure it's very tight. I usually do like two or three times just to make sure that it's good and tight. Once it is, and you have the excess, you're going to cut the excess out close, not too close. You're going to want to have a little bit there. And then that, with your tweezers, you can tuck up inside. The legs are fully closable. And he is able, let me focus the camera here, he is able to stand up on his own, put his sword in his hand, and I have my childhood Fisto finished and able to stand on his own, and now he can ride Stridor with confidence again, and he can fight Skeletor, the evil horde, or the snake men. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, it's easier to repair your toys than you think. Uh, some people make it look harder than others, and some make it look easier than others. This is just my e my way of doing it that's easy for me. But whatever is the easiest for you is always the best way, because it's your way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and tap the bell for notification. Also, check out my Facebook and Instagram pages for news and upcoming video information. Check out my other videos if you enjoy coin collecting or toy collecting. Thank you very much for watching.